This is Eric from Pack Hacker, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Night Eyes Runoff Waterproof Phone Case, which I've been testing for the past two weeks. Let's dive in. So taking a look at the exterior here, you can see that this looks very similar to a lot of the other Night Eyes products that we've tested in the past. We've tested the 411 pouch, a couple other travel pouches, and they typically have this TPU material and then a grayish, uh, dark kind of charcoal-y color as an accent. So on this one, we've actually got a TPU here on the front, and then we've also got a TPU on the back. And all these seams, just like the rest of their waterproof pouches, are RF welded, which means they use radio frequency to heat it up and then weld it. So that means there's no, um, you know, seat, like fabric seams or anything like that. It's just all... RF welded, which I think looks very nice in comparison to if there were, you know, threads and stuff like that. And it also makes it a lot more waterproof. But as I said, you have this TPU on this side, and then you have a little TPU window on this back side as well. And that's because this is just for a phone. You can fit some other stuff in there too. But when you put your phone in there, you can use it on this side, and then you can take photos through that side. But we'll get more into that in just a little bit. We'll go through a few more of the features here. We have this little strap loop here. It's not super thick, so you might not be able to fit um, uh, all of your belts through there, but like a, a standard belt, you're going to be able to fit through there. Or if you just want to attach it inside your pack using a strap or something like that, you'll be able to do that. Then we have these two little hooks here, which let me grab the lanyard here. It comes with this little lanyard. Um, it, this lanyard does feel a little cheap to me. It's not super thick and the material doesn't feel super durable. So if you want something a bit nicer, you would have to replace that. But it has these little clips here on the end that just pop on here. They're pr pretty easy to get on, but they can kind of get hung up sometimes if you don't get it just right. Like right now, I'm not getting it just right. There we go. So then you can see there that it's not like fastened, like it's not a buckle or anything like that, but there is that little lip there to keep it from coming off. And at no point did I ever have it come off when I was testing it. Um, at one point I thought that it did. I was at a soccer game and it was supposed to rain. So I brought this and I was like jumping because we scored a goal and I thought that it had come off, but it actually, this had just like shifted from where it was on my neck. So no issues with this coming off. And if you want to take it off, you just kind of have to shove it through there and it'll come off. But as I said, this lanyard does feel a little bit a little bit cheap to me. And I don't love the look either. There's no padding or um, obviously no aeration either. It gets so thin. So if you were to, you know, if you have a heavier phone and you were to put your phone in here, maybe your wallet too, it does kind of dig into your neck a little bit, especially if you were going to the beach and you didn't have a shirt on or you had a really thin shirt. It kind of digs into your neck a little bit. And this, depending on where this plastic adjuster sits, that can kind of dig into you a little bit too. Um, but as I said, it's just a, you know, a lanyard that comes with it. If you wanted to, you could find one to replace it with, but you just have to make sure that it would be able to attach to these little uh, loops there. But moving past that, you see we have the Night Eyes logo there. Very minimalistic. I think most of their new products have that. They used to have a rectangle one, and I think that they've kind of moved away from that. They just have the little circle one with the uh, crescent moon there. So I think that looks very nice and it's not very in your face. The only other place that there's any branding on this is on the zipper. As you can see there, it does have the TRU on it. This is their, their true zip, which they have on all the other stuff we've tested that is like this. And it is a very nice zipper. It takes some getting used to, but I really do like how this zipper functions. It's very light. It's you know made from plastic. And as I open it here, you can see that it has that little, it locks in place there. And then you bring it around, you're open, you can get your, put your phone in, take your phone out, and then close it up again. A few times on this one, which I did not have happen when I reviewed the travel pouch, I thought that it was all the way closed, and then I'd look back later, and I was actually just right there, which isn't a huge deal unless you're submerging it in water, but just double check and make sure that you got it all the way closed. Um, something that I wrote about in the travel pouch review is this zipper pull. I, I, like I said, I really like this zipper, but this zipper pull just feels cheap to me, similar to the lanyard. Like I think they could do a better job integrating this 
not this zipper pull, but a zipper pull on here. It's long and you can grab onto it, but it just doesn't really feel very sturdy. Whereas the rest of this um, phone case feels sturdy and protective. And so once this is closed, I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see this, but if I push on this, you can see that the air is stuck in there. Like the air can't even get out. Like I'm pushing on that as hard as I can and the air is not coming out of there. So that just um, is a testament to this zipper. Just wish that that zipper pull was just a little bit easier to use. But we'll hop inside this thing now, I'll grab my phone. So I have a case on my phone. This is an iPhone 11, just a standard size. And with the case, it does fit inside of here, but it's not, it can be really hard to get out and like just annoying if you need to get your phone out. So I'll slide it in. And I should say it's a little hard to get in there too. As you can see, there's a band here. And what that band does is it keeps your phone pressed up against this TPU so that you're still able to use your phone. So let me slide that in there real quick. Lock my phone again. So as you can see now, my phone is in there, but it, I don't know how well you can see that, but because of the case, it kind of like is sitting weird because the case has a little bit of a lip to protect my screen. So the way that that lip is sitting, it kind of like pushes up against the TPU. It's not, it doesn't affect usage at all. And I kind of like still having my case there. So if I were to drop it, it, I feel like my phone's a little bit more protected because this waterproof case doesn't offer a lot of like drop protection. It's just really water protection, dust protection, sand protection. Um, but it is a little bit awkward. But as you can see, I can still use my phone there. And what I was talking about earlier is when you try to get it out, it can be really difficult. So trying to pull it out, the screen is just kind of like stuck to that TPU. And it's real hard to get it out, even if you kind of play with the, the band finally got it out but and you can see it like it's even the, the case is kind of depressed from where I was or like a little indent there from where I was trying to get it out but if you take the case off it's a lot easier to do it kind of just slides in there so obviously this is meant to be used without a case but most people I know have cases on their phone so I just wanted to show you that before and then we'll close this up and so here it is with the um, case off. It's a lot easier. It kind of moves around in there just a smidge. I put it in backwards the first time, but as you can see here, the camera is accessible. If you just open that real quick. Shockingly, it really does not affect image quality, at least like to the, the naked eye. If you are to take a photo and then zoom in, you can kind of see a little bit of a difference. I think that's going to be the case no matter what though. If you put something in between something clear in between the lens and what you're taking a photo of, uh, you're going to notice some difference. I don't know, you know, what you're doing with your photos, but for most purposes, you're not gonna, not gonna notice a huge difference. If there were to be water or something on the TPU, or if you were to get the TPU really smudged up, then you would notice more of a difference there. But for the most part, I was really happy with how this performed taking photos because at first I thought like, there's no way this is gonna work. And then after taking a few photos, I was happily surprised. I still, if I was really worried about getting a good photo, I would probably take my phone out and take the photo. But I do think that it is important to note that you really can get some pretty nice photos with uh, your phone in this case. But something else that you can do here is I was able to also fit, I have a pretty small wallet here, but I was also able to fit my wallet inside here. Just put a little bit more pressure on that zip but if you wanted to keep um, your wallet and your money and stuff safe as well from water, dust, but something that is important to know, as you can see, my wallet is now covering the lens on my camera, so I'm not able to take photos right now because of where my wallet is. But if you do, you know, if you wanna slide your passport in there or something like that, if you're really worried about taking or leaving your passport at your hotel or something, you can slide it in here and have it with you at all times, or if you're, out and about with your backpack and you want to ensure that some things inside stay dry, you could slide your passport in there, other travel documents, and then just leave this inside your pack. But overall, very happy with how this operates. It's not something that I personally would use all the time just because I don't find myself in situations where I need complete water protection. And obviously the newer phones have a bit of water protection. Let me set this to the side. 
But if you're going somewhere where you're going to be submerged in water or like you want to be able to take your phone close to the water and not have to worry about it, then this is a very handy case. And obviously the, the lanyard, although it is not perfect, it does the job. It keeps it around your neck and it does not come off. But there you have it. The Night Eyes Runoff Waterproof Phone Case. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.